Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 11, 11. of A Glimpse of Clarity. Yay. And today, we're just going to be doing some would you rather questions. We didn't really know exactly what we wanted to do, but we figured that doing these questions, we could kind of like get topics branching off of them. Yeah. So I went ahead and found some of these questions, but I tried not to think about them too hard mm -hmm. um, so that we could kind of get like our organic yeah. uh, thought process on figuring out what we would rather do. Yes. And thank you guys so much for all the love and support on episode 10. That was by far the best performing podcast episode that we've mm -hmm. had. So thank you guys so, so, so so much you guys are awesome yeah and we'll definitely probably do one of those in the future again mm -hmm. it just it takes a little bit to prepare them um we do have some other like fun ways to incorporate you guys as well into the podcast too um but today we're just gonna be doing some would you rather questions we wanted to have like a fun little game podcast yeah we've been talking about heavy topics on the other ones and I so feel we, like this we one, need to lighten up the mood yeah, I feel like this one will just be like a little fun, you know, the last episode was kind of sad with everyone having relationship problems. Yeah. And today we're going to be talking about would you rather questions. All righty. Are you ready, Madeline? Yeah, I think so. Do we have anything to update about? Um, like in our life? Oh, <sighs> the, the sound. Oh, yeah. So... As you guys know, uh, eventually there or sometimes in the podcast, there's like a little bzzz, there's probably like, like three humming. or four per episode. Yeah. And we've been trying to figure that out since like episode one and we can't figure it out. So uh, just be patient with us and we're going to keep on trying to do some tr um some fix yeah it's like a, it. it's like a static noise and we're not touching the microphone when it happens so we didn't know if it was something to do with like someone touching the cords but we just we can't figure it out we're and gonna be so, really cautious yeah and see if we can fix it and then worst case scenario we're gonna have to buy something new to yeah but it. like the thing is it's like a trial and error we don't know what the fix is because yeah. we don't know if it is like one of our aux whatever they're called xlr cables xlr cables or we don't know if it is my microphone or well no because you said sometimes it's my microphone that does it and sometimes, sometimes it's, it's yours mm -hmm. so it might be his audio interface like it's just like little things and we can't just replace everything because um, we don't have that kind of money no so. <laughs> definitely not um oh we also just got accepted for one monetization yeah thanks to you guys yeah of course so we um this whole time we have not been monetized on youtube we just got accepted for it so we're excited yeah thank you guys so much you guys are the reason we're able to do this so mm -hmm. thank you guys so much for supporting us yes. um i think that's it right i think so okay well i have some questions on my phone okay and I don't really have them in an order, so I guess I'll just read them. Yeah, I've only heard these set of questions once, and it was like... I read them pretty fast. Two hours ago, yeah. and <laughs> then we took a nap, so I totally forgot every single one. <laughs> I kind of did, too. Okay, so the first question, or would you rather, is... Would you rather go through your whole life being the most hilarious person or bo being the most intelligent person? Well, that's a hard question for me to answer, because I already am one of those. Um, oh my gosh <laughs> i am the funniest it would be nice to be the smartest um, i feel like it wouldn't because sometimes when you know too much about the world it like kind of ruins a lot of things for yourself yeah like i, I feel like that. we've been getting into i don't know it's just yeah i feel like life if you is know, crazy yeah i feel like if you know too much about the you world start seeing the world in a completely different way than like a naive way yeah I want to be naive. So do I. So <laughs> I, I don't want to be super intelligent. I think I would be the funniest person because then I would bank at comedy shows. I would say I would want to be the funniest because you also like lighten the mood for everyone else. Like yeah. everybody likes humor. I would hope everybody likes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you have different types of humor, so it depends on like. But if we were like the most funny, we could cater to literally everyone. everybody. Yeah. yeah. I think I would rather. I be would that. agree with you. Yeah. So I would just stay the same. Even and though not be intelligent. being the most intelligent, you would probably be able to make a lot of money too. So like, see, I just made like an advanced joke that Madeline, I think just I skipped over it. Yeah. I said, I would just stay the same. Okay. And I wouldn't try to be intelligent yeah. or smart. I would you, just, I would just stay the same and be the funniest person. you are so funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You right are. guys? Steven's the third most funniest person I know. Yeah. Goes my dad, Drew, then Steve. Thanks. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in top three. 
Yeah, you are in top three. That's really good. Good, thank you. What am I in your list? You're, I don't know. I know some pretty funny people. Um, not personally, but like I know <laughs> okay. some. Well, in your personal okay, life. Okay, Madeline, yes, you are funny. I, I do really you. think you are funny. I think you're the most funny woman in my life. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you. Um, well, my mom's kind of funny too. I feel like both of our parents are very witty. Yeah. Like they're really quick. All of our parents, actually. I feel like they're really quick on like, I'm like, how did my mom come up with that? Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Know, that's where yeah, we get our funniness yeah, from is exactly. our parents. <laughs> okay. Next question. Would you rather go through life unable to forget anything ever or go through life unable to remember anything? Unable to forget anything? Or yeah. and unable to remember everything? So, would you rather go yeah. through life unable to forget anything? Unable to Or go through life unable to remember anything? I would definitely want to remember everything. You know how much I can hold over people's heads if they do if they do me wrong? I'll remember that. So you that. don't want to forget anything. I don't want to forget anything. Like imagine look, whenever we have kids, you want to forget our kids whenever we're like 80. Oh yeah, that is really And like sad. imagine we wake up every day and we're like, who's this kid in my house? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I would love to it's remember. It's kind of a no brainer. Like, everything. why would you want to? Well, we also have to think about like, like, do you literally forget everything? Do you forget how to speak in this? Like, what's is this like? A, this is obviously like a hypothetical. So, like, yeah, would we forget literally everything? <laughs> like, we just wake up every, a new every single day. I don't and know. Just forget everything. And then, like, what would I want to forget that? That was like, a stupid I know. question. Whoever came up with that question. <laughs> what would I want to forget that I know? Like. I want to I mean, know I was everything. Gonna say, like, you, I would say you cheating on me, but I would want to remember that. Yeah. So then I'm not like I wouldn't want to forget and it. I've not cheated on Madeline, by no, the way. No, I'm just saying like that's like the only thing I can think of that I would want to forget, but like I would also want to make sure I knew about it. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah, that one wasn't very good. Yeah, that was a no brainer. Remember everything. Yeah. Okay. This next one. Would you rather have a time machine or a teleporter? Time machine or a teleporter? Yeah. So go into the future or to the past or just Do, a teleporter. Is it only just for me or is it like can other people use it? Um, let's just say other people can use it. So I got to make sure that I keep it like to myself because I don't want other people yeah. using any of this stuff. And people trying to like come and steal it from you. Yeah, I, Let's say no one can steal it from you. It's yours. Okay. If it's mine, I would definitely use the teleporter. Yeah, I well, think I would. Because really, win. the future is inevitable. We can't, like, we can't go to the future. We can go to the past because it already happened. Yeah, you know, so, I I would definitely do the teleporter, but that brings too. back the that TikTok that you watched. Yeah, we did see a TikTok that said if like if there was a teleporter that literally everybody could buy, super cheap, super easy, everybody in the world could have it. It would destroy. A Basically, bunch of jobs. every job like known to man and like crime, like how like I could commit a crime, hop in my teleporter and go straight to Paris. I'm Audi. Yeah. Like they would not know where I'm at anywhere yeah. in the world. I could just pop around as soon as I see someone. Boom. I'm no out. more pilots. No yeah. more roads. No more cars. No more. It'd be safe for no car wrecks, but you can like literally go anywhere. Yeah, and then like, how could you stop someone from not teleporting into your house, committing a crime, and then leaving? Exactly, or, you can't. Like, like do, yeah, I'm unless to think there was a, like a way to like where you could navigate there. Like, I was gonna say unless there was like hubs, like yeah, a teleporter yeah. where everyone had a pass that you all went to this one area to teleport to. Or, like you share a code, or like you can get a code so like public pa places could have like a code. Like, let's say you want to go to Paris super fast. <laughs> Like you just type in the code in your mm -hmm. teleporter and you just go there. So like you'd have to keep your code hidden. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. What would you choose? Like I, teleporter. I'm going to do the teleporter if the teleporter it wouldn't too. mess up our world. Yeah. Like if there but was then no. Again, some invention that's going to come around could mess up our worlds. Like something. In the even future. if it's not a teleporter. Yeah. I just hit the microphone. Sorry, guys. Are you kidding me, Madeline? Yeah, my nose is like running. My nose itches <laughs> right now. Yeah, I wonder if it's something in this room. Can you guys scratch room. that for me? Oh, thank you. Steven. What? I wonder if there's like something in here. Because like it just happened as soon as we got in here. 
It's probably a teleporter. A guy f- with a teleporter came in here and yeah. Just did it. Okay, I'm gonna read one off. Okay. Are you doing these in order? Yeah, okay. I just I don't remember what they were. Okay. Would you rather eat foods that have never been cooked, or only eat cooked foods? I would only eat cooked foods, but then again, that would like ruin like a peach. Like I have to cook a peach and then it's going to be like an orange or mushy. Yeah. Yeah. Or like cereal. So that means I have to cook cereal, but I wouldn't want to give it. But is cereal already cooked basically technically because it went through like the process of being made. So it's that cooked. Yeah. I don't know. I I don't know. So if you so if you don't choose the cooked option everything's raw so you would have to eat a potato raw i like my chicken medium rare in the first place (laughs) stop do not eat your chicken medium rare (laughs) um yeah i don't know because i would want like i wouldn't want to eat raw macaroni oh yeah like Like i would want to be able to cook like i like pasta i would love to eat like do people eat uncooked pasta they just like pop a noodle in their mouth I mean, I've had like a spaghetti noodle, like this. Yeah, I've tried it, but that's like disgust. It's like yeah, I wouldn't want to eat that every gross. day. I just eat one. So we need to lay out the pros and cons for each, because I'm because I really don't know because there are some foods that are so good cooked. Yeah, and some foods that are so good not cooked, like pizza. I want my pizza to be cooked. Yeah, because imagine just getting like tomato sauce and just like. It, tomato just, sauce without the cheese melted. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Oh, no. Well, I could guess, you even make dough like bread? I don't know. Also, like Lunchables. Those aren't like you don't really microwave them, cook them. But I wouldn't want to give up chicken. Chicken has to be cooked and all my meat yeah. would have to be cooked. So I wouldn't be able to have tacos. I love meat. Yeah. Especially in my mouth. So. Stop. <laughs> Babe. So I would, yeah, I think I would, yeah, I'm I would cook, eat cooked food. Cook food for the rest of my life. It would just ruin like fruits for me or yogurt. Oh, I love yogurt. <laughs> oh, ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. You can never no. have ice cream again. Okay. But we do, okay, so at our house, we eat a lot of frozen food. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, it's our just freezer, so easy. Our freezer is always stacked, but once we have kids, I think we're actually going to start cooking like real food yeah we talked about this so i whenever i make dinner for just me and steven i feel like it's more expensive absolutely to buy all these ingredients and just for them to go bad yeah because if i need to buy potato well okay that's not a good example (laughs) so like chicken breast we just now started buying like something else but in order for me to buy chicken breasts, I have to buy four of them, but we're not going to eat four chicken breasts. And we don't like, I mean, we're kind of picky. Like I don't, we won't eat chicken one night and then the next night eat the chicken again. Yeah. We're, so, we're it's bad because we are spoiled. Yeah, yeah. So I like, I feel like I don't use the chicken fast enough and then it gets gross, but we just recently found this type of chicken that comes with only two breasts. So that works out. Yeah. It's like um, in a hidden spot in the grocery store. Yeah. So we finally found that, but I just feel like we wait a lot of food too because if we make like um i mean there's ways to half the meal but then again i feel like we don't make enough it's just it's hard yeah so i just know one day when we have kids we'll have that extra mouth that will eat the lasagna yeah so like yesterday whenever we made like hamburger helper for my mom and and matthew like we there was no leftovers lot, yeah. there was no leftovers and i was like oh cool i don't have to worry about putting it in another dish and Mm-hmm. waiting to eat it tomorrow or something but like and even that we don't even eat leftovers like we're so bad well i so i eat i like cold pizza leftover pizza yeah but i mean like whenever i make dinner we don't normally eat what was left it's it's certain foods that yeah. we do so it's kind of i don't know it kind of just depends I on like what Miyako we get leftover Miyako's pretty good yeah that's like a restaurant yeah <laughs> but. um i don't know why cereal we... leftover is pretty good. I like leaving my cereal overnight and coming back because it just kind of falls apart in your mouth whenever you eat it. That is disgusting. Steven does not do that, <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. Okay, okay. Uh, would you rather go without shampoo for the rest of your life or toothpaste for the rest of your life? This is the easiest question I would like ever, like without a doubt, no shampoo. 
Yeah, but then your hair is going to be so greasy. That's not true. Because people go no shampoo. I mean, I guess, yeah, it would be our natural oils. Yeah, like natural oils all the way. Over. I've tried to go no shampoo, and it's hard because the first two days is like really, it's really yeah, greasy. Yeah, didn't up last in there. very long. <laughs> yeah, but that's also because I had long hair. So now, since I have shorter hair, mm-hmm. shorter than it usually is, I might try it again. Yeah. Because it, apparently it changes everything. But toothpaste, no, like I'm going to. Definitely need, I need toothpaste. toothpaste. I mean, like, I feel like people can smell your breath. People can't. Can they smell your hair when it's greasy? It kind of depends. Like, you could still wash your hair with water. Can I use dry shampoo? That's shampoo. Dry shampoo? That's shampoo. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I'll put baby powder in my hair. <laughs> Soak up all the oils. But... Would that still be considered shampoo? So let's say everybody in the world had to, like, shampoo immediately just disappeared. Oh, well, then everybody would be so, the same. But then, would we create something like baby powder? Would that be considered shampoo? No, it would be a powder that soaks up the oils. It's well, not really cleaning what's your dry hair. Shampoo, then? What's in, what does dry shampoo look like in the can? I don't know. It's like all powdery though. When in the can, it. like if you were just to open up the can, like what would dry shampoo look like? I don't in know. There? Google that. I actually need to because that's <laughs> gonna that's gonna blow my mind. Where's your Safari? Oh, okay, here it is. Okay, here we go. What does dry shampoo look like? In bottle. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was not helpful. In bottle. In can. I don't know. Nobody. How much what's dry what's sh- inside dry shampoo? Alcohol, petroleum, and clay. Clay? Could we make our own? Probably. I mean, somehow it was made on... Like, can- like compressed air? What, is- what does that look like inside? How does that get cold? Babe, I don't know, man. What's inside of cans? <laughs> like canned stuff? That doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, liquefied petroleum gas. So we probably can't make that. Because it says that it was something with the government, something. We probably need government stuff. Yeah. Okay, notes. Uh, yeah, I'm still going to go with the no shampoo. No shampoo. Because I, like, my hair, I'm not having to, like, constantly touch it. But my teeth, my tongue would touch it. That would gross me out. Our teeth would become very, like, yellow and plaqued. And but could we still use I did see a documentary of, like, there's, like, a tribe that uses, like, sticks. And they, like clean their teeth with that and their teeth are super white you guys hear about that i don't know might be the only one have you never heard of no yeah they like just put six in their teeth really yeah okay here do you want to read the next one sure here you go okay would you rather be extremely allergic to your favorite food or forced to eat your least favorite food once a week so what is my favorite food Wait, hold on. Say that again. Okay. Would you rather... Okay, first... Okay, let's figure out what our favorite food and our least favorite food is. Fa- least favorite food? It's got to be oysters or something. Something fish. Yeah, fishy or, like, anything. Not fish, but like sea. Yeah. Sea stuff. Yeah, I would agree. I can't do but that. But it kind of just depends because I like... Shrimp. Um, yeah, like shrimp. And what's the squid? Calamari? Yeah. Not like calamari. Well, we'll just do like a clams. general. Yeah. Clams. I can't do clams. Sorry, guys, if you like seafood. <laughs> um, okay, so then what's our favorite food? Or what's your favorite food? Steak and chicken is kind of OP. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would, I'll just be I general. I'll say steak make, and chicken. I need to make chicken tonight. I got chicken breast. That's right. And I have a recipe that I want to try. Okay. It's not the teriyaki chicken. Okay. It's something else. I'm it excited. like makes like a crusty outside. Good. Yeah, we'll try that. Anyway, um So what was the question again? I like zoned out again. Well, no, I know. I need to figure oh, out what okay. my favorite food is. So you're gonna say yours is chicken? Or what did you say? Steak and chicken. Steak. I'll, I'll just go ahead and say okay, a medium potatoes. rare chicken. Potatoes are my favorite. Um I've talked about this like five years ago. 
I am a potato person. Like potatoes are so versatile. Like they can you can make, make a lot potato of potato chips. You can make hash browns. You can just eat it regularly. You can make mashed potatoes. Potato salad. Yes. Like potatoes are so versatile. Baked potatoes, uh, twice baked potatoes. Like there's just so Triple many. Triple baked potatoes. <laughs> there's just like so many things that you can do with them. So I just feel like they're such a staple. So yeah, I'm going to go with that's my favorite food. Potatoes? Yeah, I love potatoes. Anywhere there's a potato. So you would eat so I want to challenge you to eat potatoes for one week. I would probably gain a lot of weight, right? <laughs> I don't probably. I don't Isn't know. that like really like all starch or something? Carbs and starch. I, I couldn't tell you. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with that as my favorite food. And so here's the question. Okay. Would you rather be extremely allergic to your favorite food? Or forced to eat your least favorite food once a week. Oh, once a week? Dude, I'd be... Okay, so how allergic am I? Like, deathly allergic? Uh, extremely allergic is what it says. So I would assume that's deathly. <laughs> Do I get to carry an EpiPen with me? So you're going to use so, okay. an EpiPen every single time? Well, every time I use it, because I, I could limit that. I eat potatoes a lot. You do? Like that's my Your diet would be ruined. Like whenever I'm okay guys, whenever we're at a seafood restaurant, I go for a baked potato and that's all I eat. It's like true. that's my safe place. It's true. <laughs> that's my safe. I know it's always going to be good. Well, that's a lie. Sometimes there are potatoes that are not good. Okay, so if steak and chicken cuz you don't have to eat steak and chicken, but it would just be You would have to eat like lamb chop. <laughs> and stuff i don't know um oh okay well my least favorite food is steak and chicken so i think <laughs> i would probably have to eat my least favorite food no yeah. um shoot i'd probably just be allergic i can't like there's just something about oysters or clams that i just can't i can't do so you're gonna be allergic i probably have to be allergic oh uh. like what's your least favorite food like think of the worst thing that you can possibly think of Can you? The pig's feet in a can. Pig's feet in a can. Or whatever that was. You so, could have yeah. cheated and said something like, oh, I hate Gogurt. Yeah. Gogurt is so gross. Mm -hmm. But yeah, pig's feet in a can, or like in the glass. That's kind of, that's yuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's yuck. If you like uh, pigs in a whatever, sorry. <laughs> Again. Yeah, that's just hard. That's, yeah. that's probably the hardest question that we've had to I know, this answer. is like the longest one ever. Um, I'm going to go with, I mean, I guess I'm just going to have to be extremely allergic, but then like potato, isn't that like some people cook? Like what if they cook something with the potatoes and then I can't even eat that? You eat around it. So like, okay. No, so if you're extremely like if allergic, like if it's contaminated, is that yeah. what you're talking about? I don't know. I couldn't have fries. Yeah, no, I can't do that. I'm going to have to eat. Can I eat just one bite of fish? Eventually, I would stop throwing up, right? If I Because you might get used to it. Every week. Okay, but what if you're allergic to your least favorite food? Then you're kind of screwed. My least? No. But yeah, but what if you're allergic to it? Like to your least favorite oh, food. Oh, and yeah. then I still have to do yeah, it Yeah, you have to eat day. it. Well, then I would just die. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't. I need fries. I need my potatoes. So you would eat pig's feet in a can once a week. Wait, why am I choosing that one? I thought we were choosing seafood. <laughs> What's your, whatever your least favorite food is. Oh, I'm going to act like I didn't remember about that. Okay. I'll let you have it. It's okay. I'm going to eat the, I'm going to eat the, um, eat your least favorite food once a week. I would choose I the opposite. I live off of fries. I would choose the opposite. I would be allergic to steak and chicken. That would suck for me. Because what am I going to cook you? Pizza bites. <laughs> Pizza bites. <laughs> Pizza rolls. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Well, moving on. Jeez, that was a I, long one. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Well, no, I think it's good. I okay. think we're debating. Yeah, we have to kind of do it long because we're only at 25 minutes. Well, no, I'm just saying it like shows our thought process that's okay. why i didn't want to think about it beforehand okay okay um okay so the next one would you rather have super sensitive taste buds or super sensitive hearing 
Taste buds. I think taste buds, taste buds too, because like if a baby was crying, imagine how loud that would yeah, like, be. Sometimes I kind of feel bad for our cats because like their hearing is like crazy. So like they can literally hear everything. Mm-hmm. Like I would not want to be on edge like that. Or what's that girl from Encanto? Uh, which one Louisa? is Louisa? No, Louisa's the Mary strong Bell? one. No, Mary Bell's the main character, right? Oh, what is her name? Dolores? Yeah, probably. Yeah, my I cousin think, Dolores. She can hear pin drop. That's okay, what it is. Yeah, Dolores. Yeah, she can hear everything. Yeah. But then again, you could get all the drama. Yeah, but do I really care that much? Yeah, I guess not. But like, imagine being in a crowded place and just hearing everything. everybody talking in every little car. Yeah, I would. Be, I would want to have like supersonic taste buds because then it would just enhance the flavor of everything. Yeah. And I, I love food. But what if we had supersonic taste buds and had to eat our least favorite food <laughs> once a week? But I don't have to do that because I chose <laughs> being allergic. Because just- <laughs> I chose being allergic. No. Yeah, so you're uh, screwed on that one. Yeah, I am. Okay, would you rather... So wait, we chose supersonic or yeah, super sensitive taste I chose, buds. I chose taste. Okay, super sensitive taste buds. Okay, would you rather speak to animals or speak 10 foreign languages? Ooh. I want to speak to animals. How many I, other people can speak to animals? That would be cool. Okay, so since we're married, I would have you be the translator. I would, I would pick the... Uh, the 10 languages mm-hmm. imagine how many jobs could i could be lined up for yeah and like, i could speak 10 languages do i get to pick the languages or is it, yes. is it just random you get to choose the languages okay yeah then obviously yeah i would choose that and then you would be my interpreter to animals okay. i would be the animal one i think that'd be so awesome knowing what michael and mia and like hear them say a w <laughs> <laughs> if they love me <laughs> <laughs> you need you do you need that to happen to you you need yes. to hear the cats say that they love I you. wish they could talk to me or i wish they understood too like what we were talking about that is true because they just look at us like when she's crying at the door i want to be like stop crying at the door and then her leave but she has no clue what i'm saying and she's like i can't let you out. like if you could explain to her like i can't let you out there because you're just gonna eat grass and throw up yeah like yeah don't then she'd eat be like, grass then she'd be like oh okay and then <laughs> uh, yeah then she would leave yeah okay so we would choose opposite Mm-hmm. 10 languages for me yeah and that'd be cool too because like say for our job right now like you could translate do you, our... and imagine like going to a different country too and just be able to speak their language that easy and then if i had you to piggyback off of i wouldn't feel so like nervous like you yeah. could order the food for us yeah and you could talk to the train guy because i don't mind talking to people in public but i don't either like whenever I have to, if I have to ask an associate for something, I'm always the one that's like, I'll just go ask. Okay. You're the one that's scared to ask well, people in it's grocery drive. It's in the drive through. Well, like, no, I'm talking about like whenever we're at like Target and we need to find the cups, you won't ask, but I'll just be like, I'll just go ask them. Well, it's because I can do it. Yeah, but I it's can quicker. It. It's quicker for them just to tell us where that's it's That's my at. toxic trait is thinking I can... I know where everything is. Yeah. I can find it. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to ask anybody. I could do it. Yeah. Just like little things like that. Like I'll actually go up to him and ask. Okay. I'm trying to think. There was something recently that wasn't like a grocery store. that I was like, I don't care. I'll ask him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't <laughs> mind asking for help in public, especially if it's like if it's their job, then they're definitely like um, experts at it, I would hope. And then yeah. they can just get me out of there quicker. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we have two more. Okay. Would you rather be an only child or have 10 siblings? Only child. Only child. Only child. Yeah, I think so too. Um, We do want to do an episode on this one day um, about like our different childhoods. Yeah. So I grew up with six not six so six children in the family you were one of the six yeah i was one of the six but i had five siblings um and so and i only grew up with a brother yeah so our childhoods were definitely different but i was also the baby and it was kind of like just me and drew it wasn't like all six of us in the same house yeah um but i do think it would be really interesting to compare um, our lives yeah because steven grew up in a small town countryside basically on a dairy yeah, and I grew up in like a 
a town. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just In a neighborhood be, like yeah. where you could go walk to your friend's house. Mm-hmm. For, we'll save that for a different episode. Yeah. So for us, like thinking about like, I don't know. I feel like if there was 10 kids, it would be hard. That's really hectic. It'd That's a hectic hard. household. Yeah. It'd be hard for the family or the parents to show like love Love to to every every single single one one. it'd be so hard which i know i'm sure there's families out there that have that many like i feel like it would be hard to line up who has soccer who has this who is into band who likes this this in sync i don't know in sync's the first thing i can't (laughs) (laughs) it would definitely not be in sync now if i were to choose between 10 siblings so that'd be 11 kid household because you'd have 10 siblings I would choose only, only child, child route. Yeah, it seems too. easier. I get like all, all the, the attentions attention, on me. Yeah, I get. Well, I wouldn't get whatever I want, but I would be able to spend more time with your parents. Yeah, yeah. I know. Like I'm a twin, but I cannot imagine being an only child. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't. Eat. Well, I can't imagine because I was one for four, four years. <laughs> four years in like <laughs> ten months. Yeah, three uh, nine months. Yeah, I just wouldn't even know what life would be like being an only child. So I've, get- I've heard pros and cons. Mm-hmm. So I had a, I had several friends growing up that were only children. And it was, I don't know, I guess because having a sibling, you always have somebody to talk to. But like typically whenever you have a younger brother or an older brother, it's like or sister or siblings. It's like more teasing, mm-hmm. I guess. And like. I don't know because that's hard. Yeah, I feel like being an only child, I don't know. Like you would, it would be hard to learn um, like that the world isn't all about you. Does that make sense? Like you didn't have to share your time or share your toys because you were an only child. You didn't have a brother or sister to share with. with. I'm not saying that if you're an only child, you're... I don't know, entitled or I don't even know what the word would be. I'm just saying, I think it would be harder to learn that yeah. because you didn't have that extra person in your life to share the toys with. Exactly. So I think like getting um, into schooling, it would be like a culture shock. Like, whoa, yeah, I, I have, have to, to share? share now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. But I mean, kids pick that up pretty easily. Yeah. Um, And then... Yeah, but with 10 siblings, that would be that's just, way too much. That's crazy. Overstimulated. I like. would most likely have to share a room. Mm-hmm. I would like my own room. Yeah. So only child is my so answer. So for our kids, do we want an only child or do we want 10 kids? Only child. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I don't think we would ever be able to financially support ele- well, 11 children. Yeah. Because if you would have 10 siblings. That would be wild. That that do, Doherty Doherty dozen or whatever on TikTok mm-hmm. twelve kids. Mm-hmm. What they did like a video one time about like all of their. Dude, she does a grocery haul. Yeah, and, and like shows, their bills. Yeah, they spend like twenty five k a month or something like that a month, which I actually think is pretty good. For twelve kids, I mean, but yeah, that's still insane. But like, because I mean, the house that they have to buy, the food, going out for entertainment. Dude, that just blows my mind. Can somebody just give me $25,000 a month, please? I know. Seriously, I wish. Guys, I literally wish I could just sit at home and do nothing. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> yeah, get paid for it. Um, so, yeah. If you have any job suggestions, <laughs> let me know that I can just If anybody wants <laughs> to be nothing. my, like, um, I'm trying to think. I was going to say sugar daddy, but I just, I'd rather just somebody give me money. If you guys just have twenty five k a month laying around, hit me up. Some sugar take daddies it. do just, they don't, they just want to text. And just talk to you. If I could be like somebody's friend. Yeah. $25,000 a month. Yeah. I would be the best friend ever. So if you want me to be <laughs> your friend, you can pay me. <laughs> we'll put out a Craigslist ad. Look, I'm not looking for anything sexual. I just want to be paid $25,000 a month. <laughs> to do nothing. Just literally asking for money. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, some people actually just get money. Like girls. They just go on little dates with these guys. That's so crazy. You should do that. Yeah. Take off your ring and start tanning it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll, I'll be this stay at home husband. I just like, okay, hey, how was your date today? It was good. I just got paid $30,000. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I wish that'd be crazy. Um, okay, this is the last question, and this one's just kind of funny. Okay. I just I laughed whenever I read it. Okay, <laughs> so like, who comes up with this? Okay, would you rather let a crusty old man drink milk out of your <laughs> belly button every day for a year, or drink milk out of a crusty old man's belly button every day for a month? Every day for a month? I'm going to let him do it out of my belly button. I don't want, yeah, I don't want his to... crusty milk in my mouth. <laughs> well, okay, wait. So we'd have to lick out of his belly button. I would rather him lick out of my belly button. But it's every day. So you have to like make sure you set well, okay, that wait, aside. For a year or for a month? For a year. His is for a month. Like, so I drink his for a month? So 30 days compared to 365 days. Dude, 30 days. I'll just get the month over with. So you're gonna, you would let a you would let a crusty old man lick your belly button for a year? He's just drinking milk out of it. <laughs> he's got to do that every day for a year. Yeah, but that's just a quick thirty second like, okay, thanks, bye. Okay, well it kind of just depends. Do on I how have big to talk to him is. every day? Because my belly button, it really isn't that big. What All if we became best friends and then he was no longer crusty at the ending? Yeah, no, the rule is it's a crusty old man. <laughs> Why is this old man crusty? <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> he got some barnacles. So yeah. I would, I would do the thirty day one, whether it be me licking it or him licking it, what whichever one I can't remember. Am I licking it for thirty days? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would rather lick it for thirty days. You're and not licking it. You're drinking milk. Drinking the milk. Yeah. Like, look. So you're if gonna you go put <laughs> your tongue in my belly button. Ew! All you have to do is this. You go, like, suck yeah, it out for thirty days. Yeah, but you're saying you have to lick it. That, it's the same thing. I can absorb all that with my tongue. Why would you? Whenever we why get home, would you add the factor of licking it out? Why not just suck it out, and then you're not even having to like get into his belly button? You know what I, I mean? I guess the milk would act as a cleanser for his belly button. It might give me more nutrients. The more crust in the milk. <laughs> Where's the crust from? Well, we're just drinking his belly button milk. <laughs> I would okay. I would suck out the old man's belly button milk. <laughs> That's what I would choose. Who came up with that question? I was just like, "What?" <laughs> so he's like, "What's the weirdest thing I can literally type what? out right now?" Um, so did we funny. eat lunch today? Yeah, for breakfast? we had a little bit of corn, corn dogs, dogs, corn dog bites. Yeah, those were okay. So I'm starving. I'm pretty hungry too. We have an hour before we have to go help. We could maybe just go pick something up. I was gonna make that chicken. But we still have a couple days for the chicken. Okay, how about this? We we need to eat. Some, I need want to eat something, and then later tonight we could because we're we're gonna be hungry at like ten o'clock or something right like that. So then, so we eat now. After it's this, it's currently four o'clock. Yeah, by the way, <laughs> so we can eat now and then eat like a late dinner. I'm not gonna cook chicken at ten p.m. I'll cook the chicken. No, let's just save it for tomorrow's dinner. But it would be so good. Yeah, it would, but let's just save it for tomorrow's dinner. Why would I cook it? Why would I cook a full blown meal at 10 p.m.? Aren't you not even supposed to eat after? Because we're hungry? Yeah, we just eat snacks, snack a little, go to sleep, and then we eat it tomorrow. I want to go to bed on a full tummy. I don't. And the drink. It could be the old crusty man's <laughs> His belly milk. button milk. Yeah, that's the dessert. So who who is old? it? Chocolate milk or is it just regular milk? <laughs> <laughs> Can we put our own chocolate syrup in there? Yeah, and like stir it up with our finger. <laughs> Ew. Okay, so what we need to learn is how long does it take to drink out of this guy's belly button? Like, is it literally w one second or is how is he going to town on our belly button? Is he licking all no, over it, making sure I we get every it's drop just like a drinking milk like he to drink milk. So because belly buttons aren't that big. You have to think. No, so he just goes and then he's done. And then it's like, OK, bye. Thanks for coming over today. <laughs> drinking the milk. Thanks for my milk today. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for getting the milk out of my belly button. Well, no. So are you having to pour the milk in there? <laughs> then let him drink it out. Or and does the milk it? just come out of the belly button? Yeah. Does milk come out of your belly button? Are you being serious? <laughs> I was about to say Madeline. 
Steven, that okay. was the joke, babe. Okay. I just, you just looked like for real and I couldn't <laughs> okay. tell. Okay, I do that a lot to where like I'm so believable that people genuinely think I was asking, but I'm just yeah. a really good actress, I guess. Oh, okay, yeah. No, actually, like I forgot what, there was a different situation where that It happens happened. quite a bit where I'm like, Madeline, and she's like, I'm joking. Yes. So from now on, you need to just assume I'm joking. I was joking that entire time. I knew. Is that pretty good? Eh? I don't believe the, the, Doing that reminds me of the late vine that we did at your pool uh, at the old house. And we were like, babe, there's a bee in the pool. Oh, God. Just let like, it just be. Just let it be. <laughs> I can't. We thought that was so I funny. We can't. thought that was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> was that an original joke by yeah. Madeline and Steven? Yeah, that was like the first OG joke in the okay, world. Okay, I guess we should... Explain. So we okay. Were, so we were in a pool. Yeah. And we saw a bee. Yeah. We basically already explained it. Not really. Okay. You, you go just ahead. said the vine. Okay. Well, you can explain. Stephen and I were swimming at my parents' pool, whatever. And we there, thought it would be so funny to make a vine because vine wasn't well, a thing anymore. Yeah. And so there was a bee in the pool, and Stephen was like, "Oh my gosh, there's a bee!" And I said, "Just let it be." And we were like, "Whoa, that yeah." Because be I was so, like, "Just leave it alone." That just would let be it a be. popular vine in like twenty. 13, 2014. Yeah, and so we recorded a Vine. I, I want to find that video. Yeah. Did we post it somewhere? I feel like it is Did somewhere. you private it? Like, did, Okay, so did you put it on your musically and then, or was it TikTok then? Because did you private it? It might have been, I don't know. When did we film? Well, my parents lived there 2017. 2017 is, is what we'd have to do because it was... So it was that same day that we posted oh, no, that moved 2018. picture with Drew, Drew in the background doing this while we were hugging in the pool. Do you remember that picture? Yes. It was that day. We'll and you had it. goggles on. <laughs> I had goggles on. <laughs> yeah, swimming well, goggles. Yeah, we'll definitely have to, um, we'll have to find that. I yeah. don't know if we ever will, but I do remember yeah. filming it. Did we? Yeah, we filmed it on Musical.ly. Was it? I, yeah, because TikTok wasn't a thing then. No, Musical.ly was still a thing. I'm oh, pretty sure. Oh, um, this one is uh, for the boys in the boom system. Top, Top down, down AC with, with the cooler, cooler system. system. When, when we come, come up in the club, we'd be blazing, blazing up. up. We got, got stacks, stacks on deck, deck like we're saving, saving up. up. And he real, nope. he ill, he my kind of deal. He pop bottles and he got the right kind of deal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we love super bass. <laughs> we, we, I'm not joking, guys. We probably sing that once a day. Again, I'm not joking. We're, so no, I don't want to go too deep into our personal life because what I'm about to say here, I'll do this. Hmm. We say. I don't uh, want to tell them that. That's our private life. Why? That's our thing. I want to keep that to ourselves. I don't want anybody to know that. Guys, it is literally not that at all. Well, I know, but it's just. Pr- yeah. I'm so confused. I don't want anybody else to ever steal that, like our secret language. Oh, yeah, yeah. we do. It's have... a secret language. Well, it's not really secret. You can you understand. You can obviously understand. It's just but... the the um the pattern to yeah. it. We okay, we were talking in this certain language <laughs> that we have. And Madeline was like, "How can I understand you?" Well, and I'm I was like, like, "Well, how are we both sing cuz we are singing the national anthem <laughs> to okay. our secret language." Okay, so the reason okay, we got a backstory here. So the reason why we sing the national anthem almost every night is because whenever Fergie came out and played the or sang the national anthem for At that NBA game. Yeah, whatever it was. Um All-Star game or something. I, I couldn't tell you. We're not big into sports. Yeah. Um we were singing that like Fergie and Mia, our cat, came running. Mm-hmm. We were like, okay, dude, she comes to the national anthem. So, but we don't like sing it for real. We sing it like Fergie. Like, yeah, or just like really obnoxious and loud. Yeah. And sh- every night we'll sing that. And she'll just run up and get in our lap. Yeah. And don't s- know why. But and lays down and goes to sleep. Like that's like, like her calling to come to bed. Yeah. So thank you, Fergie. You did not know this, but that is how we summon our cat and that's, because of you. And w- one night we were laying down and we were like, do you think like Fergie would ever think like we sing her version of the national anthem to, to get our cat? To get our to cat? Like she, would have, like she would never come up with that thought in her entire life. No, like I'm sure there's stuff that we've like inspired other people to do like, oh, that no, were like yeah. we could not even fathom that that's where they got it from yeah you're like what? like what something that they do in their daily life they saw 
not us do, but like say they saw. Like, There's got to be at least one person in this entire world that. Yeah, because Fergie did not think, oh, I'm gonna sing this and somebody's cat is gonna come yeah. running. Yeah. Anyway, so we had a secret language. But we didn't even realize that we were doing the same pattern because I was like, how are we both like we were singing it without even like <laughs> practicing it. But we both were saying the same words the same way. But we have this language yeah. literally like we talk in it like every day. Yeah, it's really bad. I, I, I said it in <laughs> front of Stephen's mom the other day she, and I was like, she probably thinks she I'm said an my idiot. name in the language that we created. And she was like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. This. And I had to like be like, yeah, Stephen. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, babe, it's translating into like our, our real our life, life, everyday yeah. life, not our home life. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, we have a secret language. Literally, whenever I covered up my mouth, I didn't say anything bad. I just said, hey, he, Go hey, Google, but in our certain language. Yeah. So, hey, Google, add something to my shopping cart. Alexa, add uh, 20 napkins to my shopping cart. <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to go through these one last time and read off and just do like a summarization of, of our answers. Okay. Um, whole life being the most funny person or the most intelligent? Funny. Funny, right? Because mm -hmm. I would just stay the same. Would you rather um, forget everything or remember everything? Remember everything is what I chose. Forget you everything. You said that wrong. No. Forget everything. No, it's not never forget anything. Would you rather go through life unable to forget anything yeah, so or go through life unable to remembering anything? Yeah, so we don't want to forget anything. Do not want to forget everything. Okay. Yeah. Time machine or teleporter? Teleporter. teleporter. Um, if it doesn't mess up our world. Exactly. <laughs> uh, eat foods that have never been cooked or only eat cooked foods? Only cooked only foods. Only cooked foods. Uh, sham no shampoo or no toothpaste? No shampoo. Yeah, no shampoo. No shampoo. Okay. Extremely allergic to your favorite food or forced to be or forced to eat your least favorite food once a week. Extreme, forced to eat my food. Extremely allergic to my favorite food. Is that what I said? Yeah. Okay. Because I that was the one we disagreed on. Super sensitive taste buds or super sensitive hearing? Taste. Taste, yeah. Animal uh, speak to animals or speak ten languages? I speak to animals. I speak ten different languages. Um only child or ten siblings? Only child. Only child, yeah. Let a crusty old man drink milk out of your belly button every day for a year or drink milk out of a crusty old man's belly button every day for a month. I'm I chose for a month. I'm doing the year. I'll lick the guy's belly button. <laughs> okay, I don't care. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys need a uh, comment down below. Sorry. Your answer is what yeah. you guys would pick and your explanation of why you would. Uh, I'm interested. I wonder if you guys have other like. I don't know, loopholes or yeah. whatever. Loopholes to the would you rather questions. Like if mm -hmm. you can think of your own, uh, that would be, this is not recording. What? <laughs> is that funny? That was so funny, babe. It's not third like most, I can't Third see. most person, third most funny person in her life right here. Yeah. <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, there's there like go. funny comedians, but like I'm talking about people in, your in life? my life. Yeah. Definitely my dad, Drew. Could you imagine Benny. trying to do stand-up? Does that offend you? Hang on. Does that offend you that I say... Is that the third most funny? No, because yeah. I think your dad is hilarious, and I think Drew is hilarious. Okay. So I, just I agree with sure. that. I love you. Like you're, I love you. You're my favorite person. Yeah, no, I'm not offended by that at all. really funny. I just... I know that. <laughs> I know he's super funny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, just making sure. No, yeah, I know. That like I kept repeating that and I didn't want it to be. That's like gonna be a, my last words. Madeline, I was joking. <laughs> it I really was offended so me. Offended. When I die. <laughs> You're gonna have to live with that for the rest of your life. Yeah. Okay. Uh thank you guys so much for listening. Sorry this was like a random episode, but it was hopefully it was kind of funny. I don't yeah. know. Knowing me, the third most funny person. I would hope I would hope it's pretty funny. Um, You're probably the funniest person in a lot of people's life because they don't know my dad or my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Babe, I love you so much. I really do. Well, I, thank you. I would not have married you if I did not think you were funny. Really? Yeah. A humor is such a Actually, big part. you yeah. think I'm funny? Yes. Humor is such a big part of my life. Good. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I would have probably not married you if you weren't funny. Thanks, man. Yeah, you really are funny, babe. Awesome. 
Hit start one. There we go. Okay. We're going for real this time, guys. Okay, bye for real. Yeah, kitty. Love you, kitty. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. If you guys have any recommendations for a podcast episode, we have a Google form. Is that linked in our bio? Yes, it I think be. it is. Also, thank you to everyone who said I like pickles. Yes, you guys are amazing. I do like. Someone asked if I like pickles. I do love. Pickles. She does love pickles. Have you guys tried the new Sonic pickle fries? They're all right. I'd rather just have regular fried pickles. I think pickles. we gave it like a six out of ten. Yeah, was it the best? Seven out of ten. Best. It depends. I think it would be better if they were like cooked better. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, off topic. We're leaving. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little fun episode. And um, we look forward to seeing you guys in our next one. Yep. Sorry about the random buzzing or hissing. It probably happened like a million times this whole episode. But I hope not. We're going to try to fix it one day. We don't know what... Uh, trial and error it's not just a cookie cutter yeah we feel bad because yeah it's annoying it is annoying like yeah. me editing the podcast i'm like oh my god this is like, like crap yeah <laughs> did it again all right k by for oh no i can't say that. um i can't say that but i'm not going to um all right yeah thank you guys so much we love you we hope you guys are having a great day or night or whenever you're listening to this podcast episode always remember to be kind and i think Oh, yeah. And we hope to see you guys in our next video. <laughs> yep. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>